Now it's a little bit hard to open, like it, oh, oh. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got my December BoxyCharm and Ipsy bag here for you today. So I've opened these up and I've tried out the goodies inside and I definitely have some thoughts for you and some little mini reviews, first impressions. And yeah, I'm doing it combined this month. Sometimes I do separate videos, sometimes I do it combined. I'm doing it combined this month just because I have a lot of videos that I need to put up and just not enough days to do it. So we're doing a combined video today. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna start with BoxyCharm. So it looks like the theme this month is makeup on point. And it's kind of like, I don't know, like an edgy ballerina type of a theme to it. So that's really cute, black and white. So cool theme. First off, there is a lip product in here. This is the Beauty For Real Lip Revival Scrub. It's a full size and it's a value of $14. And it says raw sugar cane exfoliates your lips while orange, vanilla, and cinnamon bark essential oils hydrate and condition for the softest, smoothest, kissable lips. This product will leave your lips hydrated and moisturized like a balm. Guys love it too. So I did try this and I liked it. It's a good scrub, um, cute packaging, just kind of like a little tubby thing with the BFR on the top. Um, it has like a, an interesting sort of a scent, but I like it. Like I can definitely smell the cinnamon and I guess it's the orange. I really don't know that I smell vanilla really but it's like cinnamon with like a twist to it. So anyway, I did use this and I think that it exfoliated nicely, did make my lips feel nice. Um, I would say like it made my lips feel like the e.l.f. lip scrub does, but it didn't seem as harsh as that one is, but I like the e.l.f. one. It just didn't seem as like gritty, but close to it. So I do like this. And there is a nail color in here. This is the Butter London Nail Lacquer. It's a full size and it's a value of $15. It says an eight free lacquer in a heavily pigmented color and finish. So this is in what color? Ruby Murray, Ruby Murray. So I wasn't able to try this um, cause I have, you know, my fake nails and I have a swatch here already for a reason. So we'll talk about this in a moment, but um, really pretty color. I do love Butter London. Oh, I can't get it off because it has the little sticker thing. I didn't even open it because I wasn't able to try it, but I love the color. I've tried Butter London polishes before. I really like them. I think they apply nicely. Um, they wear well and I love that it's eight free. I didn't realize that they are eight free now because the most I've heard of is seven free. So now we have an eight free, which is even better. Next is an eyeliner from Makeup Geek. This is the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil. It's a full size and it's a value of $9. It says, define your line. Ultra creamy and richly pigmented. Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencils apply effortlessly to create a vibrant display of color on the lids. So I do already have this. This is in the shade obsidian which is a black shade and I have this in my tight line today so I didn't really do any like um, liner on my upper lash line that smudging is my mascara not this liner but I don't have any liner like on my upper lash line just in my tight line but I've used this multiple times before I really really like her liners um, they are so nice and creamy. They glide on. She doesn't necessarily like market them as being long wearing, but I definitely think that they are. Like, I don't find that they smudge or run, and I just really like them. I think they're great liners, and they have a really nice price point. Then I got an Ofra liquid lipstick. This is the Ofra Metallic Liquid Lipstick, and it's a full size, and it's a value of $19.90. It says, Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick is a one-step full lip color that does not feather. The creamy and soft texture moisturizes your lips while creating a long lasting lipstick effect. Contains antioxidants and vitamin E. So I do have this on today. That's the color I'm wearing and this is in Napa Valley. This is a statement lip for sure. Like this is, you gotta be feeling a little bit sassy to wear something like this because it's a statement lip. But I really like it and I've mentioned many times before how much I love the Ofra liquid lipsticks. They are one of my very, very favorite formulas of liquid lipstick. They smell amazing. Like, oh my goodness, just like vanilla extract. They smell amazing. And formula wise, they are super duper comfortable. Um, they do, I mean, that's not transferring. Some of them will transfer a little bit, but not that bad and I like them because 
I'll take a little bit of transfer if it means they're more comfortable. So these are one of my very favorite formulas. Now you can see it is kind of doing the line, but that has more to do, I think, with just the nature of the color, that it's just a significantly different color than my lip color. But I like it. I've mentioned this in a Friday Favorites, actually, because I just think it's a fun, out there, different, edgy sort of a color. And again, I love their liquid lipsticks. And then lastly in BoxyCharm, the thing that I am most excited about is this eyeshadow palette. This is the Pure Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette, P-U-R-E Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette. It's a full size and it's value of $50. It says a palette featuring 12 wearable shades inspired by the popular smoky eye trend. So this is in Buff Collection. I think I got, I think it was called Nude Collection in uh, Fab Fit Fun. So I liked that one, but I wasn't like, oh my goodness, I think this is amazing. But this one I think is really good. Now it's a little bit hard to open like it, oh, oh as I almost hit myself in the face. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, it'll pop open on one side, it'll kind of stay stuck on the other side. So be careful, don't whack yourself in the face with your eyeshadow palette, like I almost did. So you get a two-sided brush, and let me show you what the palette looks like. So this is very kind of like Naked 3-esque looking, like it's very inspired by the Naked 3. I have this on my eyes today, and I loved it. Like I loved using this. Let me show you swatches. Let me go over here. This is nice. Nice, nice. Now there was some fallout, but part of that was because I kind of dug my brush in the pan because I thought I needed to to really get pigmentation, but I didn't. Like there is definitely pigmentation right off with this palette. So you really don't have to dig your brush in there. So just an FYI, but um, there is still a little bit of a fallout so it is there is some powderiness to these shadows but there's also pigment and they blended really nicely they worked well together so I really like this palette when I spend $50 on it I don't know that's that's kind of high I, I don't think I would spend $50 on it but maybe 30 maybe 35 something like that because it is really nice quality cute packaging too now we're gonna move on to ipsy so this says carpe pm so that is really, really cute. That's the theme of this month's Ipsy. This is what the bag looks like. So it's like pink and furry and super cute. It's got the little like tassel -y holder. What is this called? Handle. <laughs> it's like a metallic handle and then like the furry sort of um, a purse thing, bag. It's called a bag, Leslie. A furry bag and a metallic handle. On to what's inside. <laughs> Let me start with this eyeliner so I can take this off my hand. So this is the Hikari Liquid Eyeliner and this is in the shade Iris. So let me show you the applicator on it. So it's kind of one of those like um, stiffer felt tip pen markery sort of eyeliner. So it's not super flexible. It's more um, structured to it. So um, I'm fine with it. I like the ones that are kind of like in between that aren't super duper brushy but also not super duper structured. I like that they when they have a little bit of give. So this one um, is more just like a marker. Okay, so I just added a little bit at the bottom there, but I've had this on for, I don't know, maybe like an hour and a half or something, and it really has worn well. I forgot to put it on my eyes today, so this is kind of like a, I've tried it on my hand, but I definitely have some thoughts based on wearing it on my hand. So, I mean, I was getting ready, um, I even like my um, hand was damp at one point. I just washed my hands. My hand was damp and I just like lightly rubbed my finger over it and it didn't um, smudge. So it seemed like it was wearing through that. I didn't notice any bleeding with it. So I like it and it's a pretty like purpley sort of a color. So yeah, seems like it's going to be really nice and long wearing. Um, I do like how it applied. It didn't seem to drag. Pretty purple color. So yeah, yeah, that is a long wearing liner. I really had to scrub hard, especially on the part that had been there longer and had really set. So that seems like a nice liner. So next is this little guy. This is the Ren Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. I also forgot to wear this on my face. I meant to try it last night, but I was up till mid after midnight working. So I just totally forgot. I went to get ready for bed and just completely forgot to use it. But I did try it on my hand this morning. 
So this is what it says. It says apply a generous amount onto clear, no, not clear, onto clean skin over the face and neck, avoiding the eye area. Leave for 10 minutes, wipe off mask with damp cloth, rinse skin with warm water. Slight tingling may be experienced during application, not suitable for sensitive skin. So I didn't notice any tingling, at least not on my hand. Um, does have kind of a funky sort of a smell. It's almost like kind of a little bit citrusy, but sort of kind of weird. I don't know. So I'm not a fan of the smell, but I mean, that's okay. Sometimes skincare has like a funky sort of a scent to it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it says radiance renewal and it did give my hand like a nice kind of a glow to it after I used it. So this seems like it's going to be nice. Um, and it's nice that it's little, so you get to try it out. Also good for travel. Next, I got a lip balm. This is the Jersey Shore Cosmetics, and this is the Peppermint Moisture Rich Hydrating Balm. I tried this out, and it's nice. It has a very pepperminty scent to it, so you have to like peppermint to like this. Um, it was hydrating, it felt nice. Now, I will say, I mean, while both of these, I think, seem like good products, these are not my favorite things to get in subscription boxes, you know, I'd rather get a lip balm over skincare just because I'm picky about skincare. Um, so while these seem like nice products, they're not my favorite things to get in bags. I was really excited to see this in my bag. This is the Smashbox Instamat Lipstick Transformer. And it says, give your lipstick a matte makeover instantly. So you're supposed to be able to apply it over like a glossy lipstick to make it matte. So it says, get it on. Tap, tap, tap for matte, matte, matte. Tap on over cream lipstick using finger until a matte look is achieved. Apply outside the lip line to visibly soften the look of lines and wrinkles and prevent feathering. FYI, not for use with glosses, lacquers, or balms. So, tried this out and I do really like it. I wanted to show you, this is what I tried it with. This is the Rimmel, um, one of their 15 year anniversary lipsticks. This is in 55 My Nude. So it's kind of glossy. So that is without the Instamat and that is with the Instamat. So yeah, it just made it look matte. So that's really cool. So that totally like basically gives you a lot more lip colors or lipstick colors um, in your collection because you can just transform anything that's glossy into something matte. So that's really nice. So I'm super excited about that. I had wanted to purchase this and never did. So now I have a little sample size of it to get to try it out. Lastly, I got a product from Ofra. This is the Bliss Eyeshadow Slash Highlighter. It says use in palettes and kits. So I accidentally kind of like, not super duper gouged it, but a little bit, which makes me sad. So mine has a little bit of a gouge in it. So yes, I guess the color name is Bliss. So I do have this on my cheekbones today and on the inner corners of my eyes. It's a little bit dark for me to wear as a cheek highlighter. It really worked better as like a blush topper, but when I got it up here, I kind of had to do some blending because it was a little bit too dark for me, but it's beautiful. And I think this will work perfectly as a highlighter on a lot of different skin tones, just not like super duper fair um, or porcelain complexions, I don't think. But this is so pretty. It's like a champagne-y, almost moving towards bronzy sort of a looking highlighter. Really beautiful and I bet that is going to be amazing on the eyelids. So I think that's a super versatile product. This is probably my favorite thing in the bag. I really, really like this a lot. So overall thoughts on these and which one do I like better? I definitely think the BoxyCharm is the winner this month just because I love that eyeshadow palette, love the liquid lipstick, the liner, it's just a great box this month. So loved BoxyCharm. Ipsy was okay. Um, I do like the Instamat. I do like the liner um, and I do like the highlighter and eyeshadow. So overall, I think that one was good too, but BoxyCharm won out for sure for me this month. So hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I will leave both my links down below for BoxyCharm and Ipsy. They are my links, so don't feel any pressure whatsoever to use them, but if you do, thank you so much. I would love to know what you guys got in each of your bags and boxes this month. Let me know that down below. Let me know your favorite thing that you got. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.